Right, good morning everybody and welcome to another daily top. <laughs> well, I haven't done one of these in a while as usual. This is this is the way I usually start these videos nowadays. I haven't done one of these in a while. Today's topic is insurance companies and why they're in scam <laughs> in more than one way. Right, let's start out with something that happened to me. I kissed a car, as in, I literally, with my front wheel, touched the back of a car. No damage. But the lady whose car it was, was not a happy bunny. She was like, you've dented, done all this damage to my car. And she jumped out of the car, robbed off a load of dirt from the car. This is all on film. Robbed, robbed off a load of dirt from the car and pointed at a scratch that had obviously been there for quite a long time. And, um, But the funny thing about it all was just after she'd rubbed the dirt off and everything and said I'd caused all this damage to her car. Um, and her scratch was tiny by the way. <laughs> she, she obviously knew it was there and was worried about it or something. And, uh, and then she said, I'm selling this car next week or something like that and you've caused this damage. And it started going on and on and on about it. And the reason why the incident actually happened is um, she pulled in front of me into a clear zone, you know, as I was pulling out. She shouldn't have actually gone into it, but it was still my fault because I should have, should have waited till the coast was clear, sort of thing. So I'm not denying it's not my fault, you know. I'm just saying, oh, well, you know, it happens, that's it. Now, I had no damage to my bike. My bike's fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. And so I'm like, Okay, you know, that's a scratch. And the, the scratch was on the bumper, by the way. It's a little strip that you can replace for, like, you know, 30 quid. So I'm just like, all right, I'll go and buy your new strip and fit it. You know, it's, it simply just clips out and clips in again. It's not an issue. And I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. That's not a, that's not a problem. And, uh, and she's like, blah, 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 my husband this, my husband that. And I'm just like, oh, God, whatever. And then, as this is all going on, the cops turn up, who are sitting two cars behind. They didn't actually see the accident, but they were sitting two cars behind, thinking, what is going on? So they put their lights on and say, come on, let's move it out of the way, because you're blocking the road sort of thing, and it's riding around about, and all this stuff. And so that's what they do. They, they move it out, move us out of the way. Then they start talking to her, and she's just going off on one. And even the cops are like, what are you going on about? They didn't actually say this, but, they're, they're pointing at it and going, you, you're going to lose your no claims bonus for that. <laughs> and they're like, no, that, that's a little scratch. And there's all sort of historic damage to this car. There's dents all over it, by the way. And um, she's pointing at these other dents. I'm like, I'm, I wasn't even there. And the police gave her a dirty look and she stopped saying it. And it was obviously a scam. But I, you know, after a while I rang them up and their um, insurance company, not their insurance company, she didn't answer the phone, so the details she gave me weren't actually correct. So I thought, that's a bit weird, so I better report it to my insurance company in case anything comes up about it. Because I don't want to be shafted down the line. Now, my insurance company would be fine about it. They've gone, yeah, 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 all right, we'll take all the details. Um, no claims being made against you, so you know, Kane's bonus is intact, blah, blah, blah. No, it's fine. Now, renewals come up for my bike. Um, for those who don't know this, MT09, you know, 850, 849 cc, so it's quite expensive to insure. And um, and what's happened is her insurance company have put it down as a claim, even though apparently she's not made a claim. The insurance company have admitted that she's not made a claim, but they've put it down as a claim. And so I've lost my no claims bonus, even though she's not made a claim, if that makes sense. Because they want to keep it open for six months, in case she does make a claim. 
And they've not contacted her or anything to ask if she wants to make a claim. They're just doing that. I mean, real, you know, real quality insurance company there. And so it's all a bit, what? So my insurance has gone from being about 300 and something pounds a year, fully comp, to just under a thousand pounds because of that. Like I say, I'm not arguing it's not my fault. I, I you know, I, I call, not cause the collision, but, you know, if, if you go to the back of someone, there's very little chance, you know, you're, you're going to get away with it. <laughs> but like I say, no damage, literally. It's just like, what? And no one would claim for a little tiny scratch anyway. The, the scratch was, you know, about the size of half my finger. You know, the length of one of my fingers. It was tiny. So it's about the length of a little finger. And it's on the bumper. <laughs> you know, the bit that's supposed to get scratched and damaged. And it was just like, what? And uh, if she was telling the truth, they've, she's already sold the car now, so there won't be any claim on it. And it's just like, oh my God, I give up. But yeah, so I've been absolutely shafted. Lost my no claims bonus. And they, this is the thing that gets me. You you know, you're um, screwed if you do and you're screwed if you don't sort of thing. Because if you have any sort of instance like that, you're supposed to report them to your insurance company. We all know this. But when you report to your insurance company, like I say, my one's been fine about it. But the other one's like, well, we're going to screw you either. <laughs> and it's just like nuts. So if you don't tell them you're in trouble, if you do tell them you're in trouble, even though there's no claim made, I mean, there's something very wrong with our insurance industry nowadays, especially in London. London is awful for insurance. If your address is inside the M25 car or motorbike, you can add an extra, extra couple hundred quid to your insurance just because of that sort of thing. Yeah, that's my story. That's my rant. And here we go! Well, here we don't go. <laughs> right, guys, see you later. I was just wanted you, if anybody else has had an experience like that, I'd love to hear about it and what you did. Because, in theory, what I can do is wait for their six months to time out, and then I have to recontact my old insurance company, get them to reissue my um, no claims bonus. Then I have to get that no claims bonus put onto my current insurance, which I probably won't get a refund for, but I'm not really bothered about. And then I'll get a big chunk of my no claims bonus back for next year. But I've lost like 600 quid. I mean, and that's money I haven't got. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I've got two young kids and all that. Lot. I have not got 600 quid, quid to uh, just throw away. So I'm actually having to sell some of my equipment to um, pay for my insurance this year. It's a right, uh, but you know, ho hum, shall we say? It's just like, ah. Uh. But yeah, insurance company. Not all of you, but some of you are complete and utter scum. You're up there with estate agents, you know. <laughs> Not the best place to be. Ah, oh, I don't know. Anyway, have a good Friday. I hope your weekend's good and all that works. And I'll see you in another video at some point. Yay! What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I